All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. He's the Prince of Peace. The enemy is the Prince of Darkness, and this world is his playground. Let me show you something, guys. I, I showed this to you guys in a video um, last night. I'm going to show you a couple of La Palma things, and then I'm going to load that up. And then I'm going to go back to what I was doing last night. The Lord has reiterated again that I must show everybody the legend to the map, the only way to understand everything that's happening, that's going to happen, and that's already happened. There's only one way to understand it. That's it. That's the only way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some folders and some stuff, and I'm going to show you just what is the most impossible reality, but however, it's still reality. And if you're not living in the truth, if you're not living in the truth, how could you possibly know Christ? It's impossible. Jesus said, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Well, he is the truth. What truth is he talking about? We'll talk about that in the next video. Ready? This is a video I showed you that was in my upload from the other night this was a game called secret files from 2009 i believe so just pay attention here we go this is la palma one of the canary islands a paradise for sun loving tourists for us the island holds quite another fascination the cumbre vieja volcano the brittle western slope of the volcano is covered in clefts and fissures where water has collected. And now for the interesting part. By placing several bombs in carefully calculated spots, we can use thermonuclear explosions to heat that water so that it will evaporate instantaneously. If you had paid attention in your physics classes, you would know that such a sudden evaporation of water would create sufficient pressure to shatter the volcano's brittle slope and send it crashing into the sea. Can you guess what comes next? That's right, a tsunami. Waves 200 meters high will charge across the Atlantic with the speed of an airplane. The tsunami will sweep across the east coast of the United States. New York will disappear in an apocalyptic flood, taking with it the self-proclaimed rulers of the world who are currently squabbling in blind incompetence at the UN headquarters. The resulting vacuum of power will be filled by our followers. So okay, I'm going to pause that. And I would like to show you guys that in that video presentation that I just showed you, some things to pay attention to. They were plugging numbers, and when they plug these numbers, I recognize them. They plug 76, which is Adam as Christ's representative. And they, during this part of the video, when they were showing the water that was in the cracks and the clefts, and then they plugged another number. I believe it was 54, which means mourning and sadness. So Adam as Christ's representative, mourning and sadness. And then they went to this image, and if you'll pay close attention, you'll see that every star is a Mindy's goat. Everyone is the Church of Satan. There's one, two, three, four, five of those. Does that remind you of something? His purpose was to make one new man from the two, five and five, half and half. They put five Mindy's goats right there in front of you. And that thing I just showed you. Okay, now... Everybody knows that The Simpsons has had some predictive programming in it. Most people have no idea how that's possible. You know, people, oh, it's front-loading, and there's all these postulations. Let me just look you in the eye. That's what the Lord taught me over the last 20 years, to understand how these things were being done. It was like chasing a ghost. I've been chasing a phantom since the night I got saved and I have caught that phantom and that phantom is the angel of the bottom of the spit. I'll show you exactly how he's doing it. It's the divining serpent. Divining means to make the make the future happen according to your will. That's the word divining. And then serpent. What is the Vatican? 
It's a serpent wearing a crown. And vatis means divining. And serpent is can. Vatis can. Divining serpent. The Vatican. That's why the Lord keeps impressing upon me at this point in history, at this moment in the history of the world, the most important thing to show everybody is the legend to the map, which is understanding the stuff I showed you the other night. Let's get back to this. This is not possible. This is, you know, what some people call predictive programming. There's a video game that shows the Cumbre Vieja volcano going off and the western slope sliding into the ocean, causing a tsunami that destroys the east coast. And right now, I've had a very close look at the shipping lanes. There are ships all over Europe, all over the east coast. The volcano, I mean, the uh, tsunami as it spreads out, it's going to take out more cargo ships than your head could imagine, if that's the plan. Now, am I saying absolutely this has got to be it, has to happen? No, I'm not. Do I think that this time is going to pass? I would find it very difficult to wrap my head around it, that if this time passed and this event didn't happen, especially with the iron going in everybody at this point in history, it's just beyond my comprehension that this is not where it all goes down. So anyway, all right, so here we go again, one more time. You just watched a little video of this. Uh, the Simpsons is known for their predictive programming. Uh, let me show you just how obvious the Simpsons has been in the past. So in the past, we had Bart holding up money in his hand in front of a magazine that said that Maggie was holding, or no, Lisa, I'm sorry, Lisa, his sister was holding, and they were going to go on a bus trip to New York, and it said $9, Bart is holding a wad of money. We know that the 9-11 the bombing is printed on the $20 bill, there it is. So right here, the $20 bill, before it ever happened, there is there is the Twin Tower bombing printed on the 20, right here. It's on the, printed on the $20 bill. And before it ever happened, before it happened, right here is Bart Simpson and the Simpsons holding up a lot of money and it says New York 9-11, right? I'm, I'm holding the picture on it. This is not debatable. It's not arguable. It's a fact. These are facts. Okay, so at Bart Simpson is on this image and it says New York 9-11 and that's exactly what happened. Then the question is, is it possible that the, the Simpsons or other programs like that could predict the coming of the Cumbre Vieja volcano collapsing, sliding into the sea and causing a volcano? Well, I just showed you a video game that shows that exact scenario. But let's let's look at The Simpsons, okay? Let's let's take a look at The Simpsons and let me show you some other stuff that I have in this folder. So watch. Here we go. Here is let me first of all, let me show you the La Palma Island where the Cumbre Vieja Volcano is going off right down here on the left, right here. Right here is a dotted line. Right here is written possible landslide. So from here over, right here under La Palma, from here over is what they're saying could be the possible area of the landslide. You just saw it in the Secret Files 2 during that presentation. It showed the exact same thing right here. Let's go ahead and watch it again. Shatter the volcano's brittle slope and send it crashing into the sea. Can you guess what comes next? That's right, a tsunami wave. Okay, so I'll leave that right there. Let's go back to this. So right here is the La Palma Island. And right here where this dotted line is, this black dotted line, is the slope that would get carried off into the ocean. So if we, I took white and I filled in this area right here to show you. If we took and we took some scissors and we cut that area out right there, 
that's what La Palma would look like after the landslide if we take this white area out. Let me show you the Simpsons. Here's Canary Island in the Simpsons episode. Here's the island of La Palma, and I want you to look right here. Look right here. And look right here. Okay, let me show you the entire set, and then I'll play the Simpsons clip for you. Hopefully that won't be an issue, so let me show you. If it is, I'll load it up uh, for you anyway. Uh, it'll, it'll be on Brighteon or BitChute. So let me show you the La Palma Island, Jane. So here we go. Here's here here the islands are. Here's La Palma Island right here. I want you to look at the shape of it. So if the west slope was to come off, you would take a line and you would go up here and you would cut out this section. You know what? Let me enlarge that for you. There you go. So if if the west slope where the volcano is was to take off like that little video I just showed you, take off the west slope. We draw a line right up here and then come over this way. So we take off that chunk right there. Okay, so now let me go back and let me uh, show you the Simpsons. I'll show it to you without, without me doing anything on it. There is the Simpsons. There is the La Palma Island. It's missing the chunk right there. Um, that's fascinating because... I already showed you that on before 9-11 happened, it was printed in The Simpsons on this episode. Also during another Simpsons episode right here, during this episode behind them on the wall was the Twin Towers engulfed in smoke right here um, before the event itself. Homer in one of the episodes was sitting on his um, hammock and this clock went flying off and landed in his backyard and if you turn it right side up or up I'm sorry upside down it's 9-11 so anyway so that's just not argue because you're looking at absolute facts um, let's take another look at La Palma again so here's the eruption site right here so this red dotted line right here represents the area that would come off in the event of a possible landslide if this was to all go just like the short little video clip I showed you in secret files so now let's go and let's take and put them together and do a side by side so here is actual La Palma here it is in the Simpsons here's La Palma and here's Simpsons just like you took the little chunk right out of there and you put it right there. Now, of course, you know, there, there's always people that will go for what's called plausible deniability. But if you look at the other images of the islands, this one is pretty obvious. This one is relatively the same. This one, this one. But this being an event that's going on right now, for that to be just like that, and that to be the exact diagram of what the landslide would look like, uh, you're talking one in a very large number. So again, do I believe that it's gonna happen? Well, let's take a look at the Simpsons clip real quick. You know what, before we take a look at the Simpsons clip, let's take a look at the other bills because they happened, right? The, uh, the $20 bill that I had when I grew up was different than the $20 bill that's available now, or that was made in 96. Let me show you. There's the federal building bombing blowing up. So here's the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City. Look at that. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six long rectangular windows on the side of the building. You're not looking, you're not looking at the face of the building. You're looking at the side of the building. Let me show you uh, a map. So I want you to pay very close attention to this so here's the side of the building right here so even though these are blown out you can see one two three four five six okay look at the long rectangular buildings i'm sorry look at the long rectangular windows on this building look at the corners of the building see this rounded architecture see that let's go back to the u.s currency note here 
Okay, so look at this corner right here of the building. So again, let me slide this over here. Here's the Alfred P. Moore building. I'll take it and I'll slide it in right next to the building. There you go. So you're looking at an identical match. This is what I took and showed to the FBI. I went in and I showed them these, these images. Uh, like I said, one of the FBI agents freaked out. The other FBI agent was a little bit annoyed. And I said, well, you might want to talk to the people that make the U.S. currency notes. But uh, it was Satan using humans as a host body system to accomplish his will. So anyway, there's, there's an identical match. There it is. You're looking right at it. So the old $20 bill, this is what the Lord showed me. It definitely has the federal building bombing on it in Oklahoma City. And there's the building blown in half with the face of the building blown off. And if you come down this side right here and you see the floors sticking out right here, see the floors here and here, and look at all the smoke. Let me show you that. So right here is the exact same image. There it is. Look, there the floors are and the face of the building blown off the floors. So... This is an absolute match. So here's the side of the building right here. Here's the face of the building that got blown off. They even have the floors on it. It's pretty astounding the the level of detail that they had on these images is just mind-boggling. So again, let's just let's just match a few up. Let's go to the Pentagon. Okay, so let me stretch this out. Let's do the Pentagon right here. Here is a rectangular shaped building. There is one, two, three rows of square windows. See the square window right there and right above it? There is a row of square windows here, here, and here. Well, there is one, two, three rows of square windows. Here is a rectangular building. Rectangular building in white. Smoke and explosion right here. Smoke and explosion right here. Rectangular building. So we just slide that over and bam. So they've been perfectly matched. This is, like I said, this is what the Lord showed me in 2003 2002 and 2003 the lord showed me these things now i am showing you that these exact things that happen are printed that are printed on the u.s currency have also shown up in simpsons episodes and the reason is because the spirit that was running Matt Gronig knows what he's going to do. That's what the divining serpent is. So the divining serpent, which is the serpent race running humanity, knows what his end game is, knows what the final outcome of what he's trying to do is. Get the pit open and these bombings and these things that are printed on your money, it's called a talisman. It's a spell. It's a magic spell showing he's in control. You're looking right at it. Okay, so now, now you have the Canary Islands in a Simpsons episode, and I'll show it to you without any coloring on it whatsoever, so you can see I did not enhance anything. There it is. There's the image right there. You can see the western slope is cut off. Okay, so, and this isn't a very good image, so I made a, I made a much better one. I went and spent a little time just getting the information for you there you go okay so there's the canary island la palma here's the actual island itself if you cut off the western slope right here this is exactly what you would have here's the simpsons episode i'm going to drag it back to the beginning and get it started for you pay attention to the dialogue as well Listen to what they're saying, and then we'll play it probably a couple more times. Ready? This is it, boy. With this bird gone, the plant will be mine for the taking. Now fly to the Canary Islands! Okay, so let's take a look at that. I want to show you something Bart did when he says, now fly, look at, look at Bart's hands. What's Bart doing? He didn't like the double satanic devil horns out to the side. And he says, fly, now fly. Uh, it's interesting that the, the cage is open. It's really interesting.
I'm sitting here in uh, the little building that I made in place of the shipping containers, and it has an, a silhouette of Christ, like a shadow, and it's just breaking apart into doves leaving. Isaiah 61, I believe. Who are these who fly as clouds and as doves to their windows? That's what the Lord gave me when I did it. That's the scripture he gave me. So let's watch this one more time. Think about what Homer's saying. Now it can be all mine. Watch. With this bird gone, the plant will be mine. Sorry, let's try it again. I missed the audio. Let's try it one more time. This is it, boy. With this bird gone, the plant will be mine for the taking. Okay, so let's take a look at that map. Right there, there it is. There's La Palma right there. And look at that. The entire western slope's gone. Oh, okay, now, I don't know if you guys <clears throat> understand the the reality of what you're being shown. If It's almost like it's not even possible. That's insane. That's totally insane. It was on The Simpsons before the Twin Tower bombing. I mean, they had it several times. I've seen other stuff in The Simpsons that I just haven't shared. It's it's superfluous. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, um, I'm showing you an episode where they have the Canary Islands. There's a bird flying away. Maybe the entity knows that when we fly away, when we leave, it's his for the taking. When that event goes down, well, Satan's going to take over everything for sure. And that's the that's the Great Tribulation takeover. Um, anyway, is it, again, is this a absolute guaranteed? No. Does it seem like it is, uh, the event? It would be hard to believe that it's not, but who knows? Nobody knows for sure until it happens. Okay. Anyway, that's just wisdom speaking. Okay. So let's, uh, let's move on and I'll let you guys try and process all this and then I'm going to come back once this is loaded up tonight and I am going to drive home. If I have to spend out here till four or five in the morning, I don't care. The Lord told me to do it and he, he gave me a directive, do it. Show everybody the legend to the map that if they don't understand this, they do not understand this and that the Vatican, the Vatican and the altar and the grounds of the Vatican that's what ties all of the information together that the Lord's given me. Let me give an example. If someone comes up and draws a picture of me and says, Johnny, I drew a picture of you, and they hand me a picture, and there's an image of a dead sheep. Let's say they drew a really good picture of my face, like a caricature. And there's a dead sheep on my face, and there is a serpent eating me. But it's all hidden. It's not, it's not just super obvious. But if you have eyes to see if you've been awakened... If you've been born again, you can see it. Okay, well, what does that mean exactly? If there is a dead sheep on me and there is a serpent eating me, what is the understanding for that? I mean, what do you do with that? Okay, there's a dead sheep and there's a serpent eating me. What if it doesn't happen to me once, but two people hand me images they've drawn of me with the exact same agenda? Well, it's very disturbing for sure. It's like... I mean, it, I, I went looking for the first guy that did it. Marcel had given me that first image of myself in 2001. I wasn't saved. I used to hang out with some very rough people, very, very dangerous people. And after I got saved and I saw that dead sheep and the goat on the back of my head and a serpent eating me, I wanted answers. I wanted answers. And even though I was saved and I was a new creation, let me tell you something. I went looking for Marcel and it's a good thing I didn't find him. I'm just being honest. I had already mapped out how he was going to, he was going to be interrogated and it wouldn't have been pleasant. So anyway, I'm just saying, 
I wanted to know the answer so bad. Like, why is why did somebody do this? Why would somebody put a dead sheep on my head and a goat? Why is there a serpent eating me? Someone's going to answer some questions. And that person was Marcel. He had gone back to Guatemala. When I went looking for him, he had already been sent back to Guatemala. So I didn't get my answer. And then it started manifesting again and happening more. My own wife gave me a card with a serpent eating a sheep. And she, my wife handed me a card with the exact same agenda. Do you know how insane that is? Well, wait a minute. Well, we got to have the legend to understand it. Why is there a serpent eating a sheep? What is the reason someone would come up and hand Jonathan Kleck a serpent eating a sheep that was hidden in the watermarks or, you know, in the shadows of the image that was drawn of him? Who in the hell would do that? Why would someone do that? The answer is it's no different than Bart Simpson holding a $20 bill with 9-11 written behind him before the bombing. It's no different. It's no different than a video game of Cumbre Vieja and this guy, yeah, the tsunami will follow. That's no different. A guy trying to picture me with a dead sheep and a serpent eating me is no different than what I'm showing you. But you have to understand that without understanding the whole picture and the legend and having the key of knowledge, you'll never know it. I see these guys that have done videos, and I'm just going to lay them out now. These guys, the Grox and Mini Fish, Steve Fletcher, these guys used to be subs on my channels. And they thought they could go do what the Lord God had endowed me with. They are going to rue, rue the day that they started doing what they're doing. You don't start doing what the Lord God has enabled me to do without the Lord God appointing you. You don't get to be self-appointed. Good luck with that, guys. I'm just being honest, man. I've watched them. They are one of the biggest threats to the truth. And if you're foolish enough to follow him, well, then you were meant to follow him. I owe it to everybody to speak plainly, and that's why I speak plainly. Okay, guys. All right. I'm just going to... What I'm showing you, more than likely, is no different than everything else that I've shown you that the divining serpent does beforehand in order to show he's the boss running the show. He's the god of this world. Why do you think he told Jesus, if you'll kneel before me, I'll give it all to you. It's mine to give. All authority has been given to me. That's what he said. Do you know who gave him that authority? The Most High. Do you know why? The angels that rebelled against the Lord God end up in the system as prisoners. And they're under his control now. That's what you signed up for. Okay, now I love you in Christ. I'm going to try and stay very busy tonight and get as much done for you as I can. All right.